So in this video, I'm going over using app images and then integrating it into your desktop so you're not constantly running it from terminal or double clicking it to run it. So I absolutely love app images. It, it basically what an app image is, is a packaged program that includes all its dependencies. So that means you don't need to go out and make sure Qt and all these other little dependencies are installed for the package. You just download the app image and then just run it, which is fantastic. But some people are like, well, why doesn't just every program run through app image? It sounds so clean and it is but it also means it uses a lot of space like Caden Live for instance which I'm about to show the install of an app image is about 300 megs which is a far cry from what happens when you install it through let's say a repository using apt package manager so a far different experience but I still love app images because of the consistency of it one all the dependencies stay the same version because they're bundled with the application so you don't have to worry about like often crashes and other things so sensitive programs typically run a lot better in app image so I'm not going to touch on snaps or flat packs which work almost the same way uh, just some nuances to them for this video, let's focus on app images and how you can make use of them. So I'm going to show you how to actually download and run it the very first time and then make use of either app image launcher, which is a great program. But however, that doesn't work for you. I'm going to show you how to manually create desktop files so you can easily run these app images from your desktop environment without having to do any kind of installation whatsoever. So with all that said, let's go ahead and jump over onto the desktop. Okay, let's start by actually downloading our app image. I'm gonna use Caden Live because version 19 just came out and it's fantastic and it's not in the official Debian repo. So I went ahead and purged Caden Live from my system and now we're gonna download the app image. We'll just come here, go to releases and then scroll down to the latest release and download this guy. Now, once that's downloaded, we can go into our downloads folder. From the downloads folder, we can just right click it, hit properties, permissions, and then allow executing file of this. Make sure this is ticked. Once that's done, we can simply double click and run the file or right click and click run. And it'll launch. Now this doesn't install the file and runs it directly within the app image. However, this can, let's say if you want to continue using this program, I don't really like this method because I have to go to my downloads folder every time, find the file, double click and run it, and I'd rather it just show up as an application. So there's a couple ways to go about doing it. There's the very first way, if you're an Arch user, you can use app image, um, launcher which that's actually let me show you the github page for this and you can just build it directly from arch or you can go into the releases folder if you're on a rail based system like fedora or a debian based system you can download the deb files now since i'm on an experimental distribution on my debian install uh, a lot of these packages just don't work for me but for you you shouldn't have any issues the nice thing about App Image Launcher, which is great, it gives you the option to just double click and instead of just running the program, you can say run once or integrate and run. And it goes ahead and makes all these files for you. However, if you're like me and this package didn't work right out of the box for whatever reason, you can either manually build it, which I don't want to show in this video just because uh, manually building uh, something from source is uh, can be a little bit cumbersome for a new user. So let's go ahead and do something uh, far easier to integrate this in our applications. So to do this, I'm gonna go ahead and close out of this and pretend App Image Launcher didn't exist, which is the cheater way in my opinion. It makes things really easy. So if it does work, great, but let's pretend it doesn't exist and we want to change the location. The very first thing is I would cut this and I'd go back into my home folder. I'd create a folder dedicated for app images. So let's call this one app images folder. And then let's put Caden Live here. This gives it its own space to live in. With that, 
Um, I can see what this is, and we're going to just copy the file name. And let's create its own file to run. So to do this, we can go into gedit. From gedit, we need to create a desktop file for this app image. We'll put that there. And then this is the format I use. I actually used it on Minecraft. So this will actually be a, a very good selection. Um, we need to go ahead, copy our file path. And I don't actually have an icon for this, but we'll go grab one here in a second. App images, we'll grab this file. Right? Categories. We should put this in probably multimedia and let's download a little PNG file for this so we can make it look really pretty. So Caden live PNG. There's a nice icon file. We'll go ahead and save this one. Show in folder and we'll just change Caden live dash icon PNG. And I'm going to just take this back to our home folder and drag and drop it into here. So with that done, let's pull up our untitled document and we'll name it Caden Live Dash Icon PNG. So everything matches up and the name of this will be Caden Live. With all this done, our application's pretty much set. So let's go ahead and save this file. So we'll go save and this will actually need to go into dot local share applications and we're going to call this caden live dot desktop and save so with this all in here everything looks good um, also when you're looking at this make sure there's no spaces in here if there's spaces make sure you put a single quote or a, a quotes around it so with that everything looks good I'll go ahead and close this out and we're going to go ahead and log out of our system. Just a simple log out. I'll go ahead and hit this and log out. So let's go ahead and do that. We are back in. So now we should be able to go space Caden live. And as you see right there, there is our Caden live already in our desktop. And sure enough, there it is, the brand new Caden Live app image. It's not installed on our system. It's using that app image that we already put there. And we can just simply delete and reinstall this. Now, obviously, we need to update our desktop file when we do this. But I find when you find a program that's working really well, it's best to stick with that version, especially for something like Caden Live, multimedia editing and video editing. You find it and it works great. Don't mess with it. <laughs> I've hurt myself far many times doing that, but that in its nutshell is how I use app images and why I love them. All right, and that was app image installs. I really hope this helped you out. I know for me, I really uh, just changed the game whenever I found app images and started using them. It made stability even better on my system because now I don't have to worry about a dependency upgrading and breaking a program or making a program crash more. In my instance, obviously Caden Live was a very big suspect and version 19 brings a lot of stability changes. So I wanted to upgrade it to it right away and it wasn't even available in the repositories. But since app images exist, I was able to use it. But let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below, and I'll see you on the next video.